Hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game on the Lenovo Legion Go. The game dropped a few days ago, and the game is Ghost of Tsushima. The game is was previously a Sony PlayStation exclusive, but it's now available on PC, so the PlayStation um, exclusive uh, moniker doesn't apply anymore. Um, it's now available to a much wider audience to enjoy this wonderful game. Now, the game is developed by Sucker Punch, and it was ported over by Nixis Software. And this is the game running on my Lenovo Legion Go. And so for starters, I will show what my Lenovo Legion Go is running on. 1200p is my Lenovo Legion Go's display resolution. While it's in performance mode, battery, which is 20 watt TDP, OS power is on efficiency. And you can also see that frame, the default frame monitor is off, the Lenovo Legion Go. I'm using a third party monitor called FPS Mon. And there's no FPS limiter on my Lenovo Legion Go. Now, in regards to in-game settings, display is set to 800p over here, while VSync is set to off, and also under graphic settings, it's set to medium presets, where you have texture quality on medium, texture filtering, two times anthroscopic, shadow quality, level of detail, terrain detail, volumetric fog, and depth of field is set to medium. Screen space reflections is set to low. Screen space shadows is set to low. Ambient occlusion is SSAO. Bloom, Vignette, and Water Caustics is set to on. And this is the game running here. And as you can see, the game looks amazing. Even at medium quality settings. And this scene here <clears throat> is right after the first battle. And so, for those who haven't played the game, I do not want to spoil the game at all. But as you can see, it's holding steady at 71 to 73 FPS. And so this is still the early, really early parts of the game. And the early parts is stealth based. Let me increase the brightness a little bit. It's pretty dark. There we go. Again, I need to look for my katana. Let's see if we can find it. Someone was sharpening their blade. A warrior. That was brutal. Who are you? I'm Yuna. You want your sword? How long was I out? Long enough for the Mongols to conquer half the island.
can see it's holding steady, um, slightly above 60 FPS. And there's a lot of effects going on on the screen from smoke, fire, fog, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, the cutscenes, there's no way to skip it. I'd love to be able to skip the cutscenes without spoiling um, any of the early parts of the story. And as you can see during the cutscenes, um, FPS goes up to 73, 71, 73 FPS. But during gameplay, it can drop down to the 60s, which is still pretty good, which makes for a smooth gaming experience. parts just sneaking um, around the village so they're gonna get caught by the Mongol invaders. As you guys can see how um, gorgeous or how pretty the game looks. I can see right now it's in the high 60s as we're playing. Sometimes it goes into the 70s. Now, I wonder where did she go? I 
taking everything here. Oh, downstairs. There we go, I have retrieved it. And he has this flashback um, in regards to how he became a samurai or during training or something with his dad. Again, like I said, uh, there's no way to skip the cutscenes. And so, I'll go ahead and stop the video here. That way, you guys don't, I don't spoil the story for you guys. Especially for those who haven't played the game yet. I like guys to enjoy it, um, playing the game, and explain the story for the very first time. And so, this is Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut, running on the Lenovo Legion Go. And as you can see, it runs pretty well. Um, frame rate hovers in the high 60s or in early 70s um, during gameplay and also during cutscenes. And so guys, for those who are on the fence in regards to purchasing this game for the Lenovo Legion Go, uh, you can see you can go ahead and purchase it, it runs really well. And you can see how beautiful the game also is.